Hello everybody, this is Eric. I think this may be the first time I've put my face on any of my videos. I'm not really sure. It's been quite a while. Um, I'm a teacher, so doing a stream like this that I'll edit in and do a, a video for YouTube is uh, a skill set that I've got under my uh, cape, as it were now, these last few months of having to teach remotely from home because of the COVID pandemic has uh, allowed me to perfect a lot of the computer skills that I was already playing around with with my students just normally. So what this video is, is to show you the board that I found for doing sound for my models. And I'm just beginning on this. Uh, I'll put a bunch of credit out there to Boyd at Trekworks uh, for kind of pushing me to do more as a modeler. Uh, I started watching his videos a few years ago uh, as a way to kind of cope with my own separation and divorce, uh, going into year 11 now on that. Uh, so it's been fun to get back into modeling and to uh, do a lot of the builds that I've done, and I've got a lot of positive uh, input from a lot of you uh, for some of my previous builds and uh, even for the uh, current build that I'm doing now, my uh, Enterprise Refit. And I recently put out a uh, quick little notification that my HAL 9000 kit had shown up, and a lot of you are uh, responding positively to that. And it's for the HAL that I have decided to push myself again, uh, thanks to Boyd at Trekworks, with sound. I was watching one of his videos and he was showing how he uh, takes a certain uh, soundboard that he had found uh, by Big Dogs and the modifications that he makes to that board uh, to make it work for what he's doing. Uh, he, he has to do a lot of modification on that, and it, it is a simple modification. I'll, I'll grant him that, but it's, it's a lot more work than I wanted necessarily to get into at the front end of things, so I started looking around uh, online to find maybe a simpler board uh, that had an exterior power source instead of uh, three batteries uh, that uh, the one that he regularly uses comes with that you have to clip off and, and uh, do other things with. The cheap advantage to the board that he has is that it comes with five channels, uh, five different momentary switches. And if you look at his recent build on his Battlestar Galactica Cylon uh, base star, uh, you'll see how he has incorporated uh, those uh, to make a really cool kit. And geez, after watching uh, his build on that Cylon base star, because I did my Cylon base star, I don't know, six, seven months ago, maybe, maybe it was four or five months ago, who knows anymore after being stuck at home for all this time. But uh, for the, the little bit of uh, of extra oomph that I did on mine, having watched what he did with his, it's like, okay, I'm gonna go redo mine. I'll bust it back open again and uh, do something a bit more involved than what I did. And now that I have these sound boards, uh, I'll, I'll make use of some sound clips uh, for mine as well. Uh, so a lot, of, a lot of credit for uh, this resurgence in modeling that I'm doing. Uh, gonna give it straight off to Boyd at Trekworks. Uh, really enjoy watching his his builds and learning from him, and uh, uh, get a lot of inspiration from him. So Boyd, even though we've never met, uh, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, all the work that you do, not only in the builds but in your videos, showing how you're doing the builds and the uh, the skill sets that you're helping to. Uh, kind of push out there for all the rest of us. Uh, really, really appreciate that. So without further ado, let me get to this uh, board. I've already made a couple of uh, separate uh, videos that I'm going to edit into this larger one uh, showing uh, the specifics on it. But uh, let me first get down to the item itself. And what I found was this one. It's the IC Station uh, Recordable Sound Module. Uh, at Amazon, it's 10.98. That's an incredibly good price. Uh, 
given everything you're going to get with this. Uh, you see on the screen right there everything you are getting, and I'll uh, talk about that in more detail later in the video. Uh, the, the key thing, though, is that when you order this and you get uh, the package in, realize you're not going to get any instructions with it. Okay, those instructions are here on the Amazon page for this uh, item, and you just have to go down to the product description. So starting right here, uh, to start scrolling through, and this is where you find out all the specifics to it, and it's this part in particular, in particular that you want, uh, the mode switching. This is what I'm going to start playing around with. Uh, again, my whole impetus to want to get into sound now was my HAL 9000 uh, kit that I just got in uh, yesterday, I think it was. Maybe it was two days ago. And uh, I want to have HAL have his voice. And so finding this uh, soundboard uh, while that uh, model kit was in transit to me and getting this ahead of time uh, to kind of check out. I'm really, really happy with it. But this this particular page is the key thing uh, because you have these three uh, switches on here, the A, B, and C switches, and you can see them displayed right here in this blow up of the board. Uh, by changing these settings, you can achieve different effects. So uh, what you'll want to do is uh, print off this uh, set of instructions and descriptions from the Amazon page. Just uh, you know, do a print function and uh, save it as PDF for yourself. So you can pull that up and uh, get reference to this so you don't have to be online to, to get it just in case your internet goes down. So that's what I've done is I've just copied those relevant pages. They were pages four through six. Uh, all the rest of it is just commercial garbage. Uh, but there it is. Now I can take this and start playing around uh, for some of my other builds uh, to see what more I can do. So this board, as you're going to see in a moment, is going to do really simple and effective things for you at a really great price. Uh, nothing nothing against the, the board that Boyd uses. Uh, it just seemed a little pricey for me for what I want to do. Uh, but again, the chief advantage that I see with the board that Boyd uh, makes use of uh, is that it comes with five channels to it. So you can have five separate uh, audio recordings that you can switch around to. Uh, whereas this board, uh, you can put multiple tracks on it, but it's only going to play through with the one switch. Okay, you've only got the one channel. So without further ado, let's get on to the rest of this. All right, let me show you how easy it is to put an audio track onto one of these IC station sound modules. So it comes packaged like this, nice and safe. It may stick in the bubble wrap a little bit because of the uh, The insulation, uh, it's like hot glue kind of insulation uh, that's on some of the parts. Uh, just kind of gently pull it out of there and don't think that you've got any actual hardware uh, hung up on it. It's just the, the adhesive nature of that uh, insulation glue. Now you're not going to need to give this a power source for just putting the uh, audio on there. So you just need your micro USB connector hooked in to your computer. Go to the slot and you see it just lights up and your computer will recognize it and you'll see that there is one file on it, all in Chinese, and it's uh, some little song, so we can play that. So it's 
so it's a pretty little song. And if I knew Chinese, I could probably figure it out, but it's probably some pop song or something. So that's the file that exists on there uh, to begin with, and it's uh, just under three kilobytes. So you can just delete it. And now you can just go to your own music and put the uh, track that you want to put on there. And what I did with mine is I already uh, made a copy of all of Hal's dialogue from a pre-existing uh, collage that somebody had put on YouTube. I went through and edited that down with my own uh, software here and got it down to about a five minute track and so you can just uh, click on that and you can copy it and go back to your USB drive because that's what it thinks this thing is and paste it and it'll take about uh, I think 40 or 50 seconds maybe uh, to load it on there and then in order to play the sound you have to go connect it to power but remember it's a 4.5 to 5 volt uh, connection here so do not hook a 9 volt battery up to it unless you uh, have a voltage regulator in between there uh, some kind of a transistor to step it down otherwise you're going to just fry this board uh, and they're frequently asked questions uh, part of the instructions that come online with this uh, that are at Amazon and I'll show you that that's one of the questions that somebody asks is you know I've loaded my thing on I've got it powered on but there's nothing happening and apparently the person had sent a photo of what their setup was and the tech person wrote them back and said I see that you have this hooked up to a 9 volt battery you have most likely fried the entire board and that's why you're not getting anything so please be careful uh, when you're doing that so now the board has that track on it uh, if we right click on this go to properties here we can see that this track this mp3 that I made is 4.66 megabytes and uh, the space on your board here is 8 megabytes so uh, I'm just a little bit over half on this, okay? And that's, that's it. Now you've got the file on there and you can just take this and go out to your workstation and install it in your kit, uh, whether you're gonna put it in the base or put it in the kit itself and you're good to go. Now this board is eight megabytes of space. And what I did was find a uh, track on YouTube of Hal talking. It was about a 10 minute track. So using my Streamlabs, I uh, copied that track into my own video file. And then using my free uh, video editing software that I downloaded off the internet a long time ago. I cut that down to five minutes by taking out all the non-HAL dialogue in it so that I had a clean track of just HAL talking. And that uh, came out to just over uh, four megabytes. So I've only used about half of the space on this board. And let me play it for you. So I don't know how well you could hear that through the camera microphone, uh, but it's more than loud enough just me sitting here with it. And once I put the speaker into the kit itself, 
that'll really focus the sound even more. The board itself has a number of uh, features on it and the instructions for it are on uh, the Amazon site for the item description so you'll want to uh, download uh, that whole description uh, to get those uh, pages. It's about three pages of instructions on uh, things you can do with the board. Uh, so I did that myself. I just went to the print function to print it off and then saved it as a PDF. Because there's various switches on here that you can adjust so that you can do certain things with it. But right there what I just did for you uh, was me not doing anything to the board other than taking out of the bag uh, plugging in the micro USB port, hooking it onto my computer, and then uh, deleting that one audio file that comes preloaded on it, and then loading the file that I made onto it, and then bringing this out here to my workbench so I could plug it into power, and then just hitting the power button, the momentary switch. So this is this is so simple and uh, this particular uh, sound module is a lot cheaper than anything else that I saw. I did some uh, research after watching uh, one of Boyd's uh, videos at Trekworks on YouTube. Uh, I decided to try to see what board he specifically found and I found that board online and then I just started looking around to see if I can find something a little less expensive and finally found this one at Amazon uh, you will find inexpensive sound modules out there that are set up just like this, but they have really, really small uh, memory. So it depends on how long of a track you want. Uh, like I said, this one's 8 megabytes, and I have a 5-minute track on it that used just about half of that uh, limit. So be careful if you are looking around and just looking at prices. Don't, don't just look at prices. Look at for what it is that you're trying to get. Uh, eight megabytes isn't a lot of room with like computers today and everything, but if you're just talking about uh, two or three audio files, uh, maybe six or seven minutes worth of sound, that's, that's all you need. Uh, so have a look around and uh, if you want a really inexpensive and simple soundboard uh, here you are the IC station do-it-yourself uh, recordable sound module this is four and a half to five volt so if you're running a 9 volt or 12 volt power source for your model, for your kit, you're obviously going to have to step this down. Uh, I went over to the local electronics store. We've got a Fry's Electronics here in town, which has uh, been heavily depleted of stock ever since uh, like last November. Uh, even before that with uh, Trump's uh, uh, tariff war with China. So Fry is really, really got bare to the bones, and they're still pretty bare to the bones. And I went in there looking for a 7805 uh, voltage regulator, because I uh, saw that in Boyd's video as well, and they were all out. So I went online and I uh, found a American distributor for it at a pretty decent price. Uh, I was just going to buy some from China again but uh, it would have been like a two month waiting for it to get shipped over. So I found a, uh, an American distributor that had some uh, about twice the price, but also you're not talking about a lot of money anyway. And I'll have uh, a packet of 10 of those coming to me in about a week rather than two months. So I'll be starting my HAL uh, model probably in another week, uh, but then with that uh, voltage regulator, I'll be able to power the LED uh, off of a 9 volt battery for my HAL kit and be able to step that power down in the connection to this board 
uh, through that voltage regulator. So really simple solutions out there. Uh, and you can you can not only do lights, but you can do sound. So I just wanted to do this quick little thing here for you. All right, thanks.